Hi, this is Guy. Let's face it, folks. There are only three ways that bugs can get into your house. They can fly through open doors or windows, as in the case of, well, flies. You can carry them in with you, as in the case of something like German cockroaches. Or they can enter through cracks and crevices in the side of your house, as in the case of most other pests. Now, I cannot do anything to prevent you from leaving your doors and windows open or from carrying pests into the house with you. But I can tell you how to stop the other pests from coming through those cracks and crevices. Okay, what kind of pests are we talking about? Gosh. We're talking about the vast majority of them. This treatment will prevent American cockroaches, oriental cockroaches, ants, earwigs, springtails, spiders, and pretty much any other pest that lives outside and doesn't fly into your house. And it will also prevent wasps from building nests on the side of your house as well. You see, if you have a residual pesticide protecting all the entrance points where bugs can get in, then there is no way that they can enter your house without dying. This treatment will even prevent dry wood termites. That sounds pretty good. So how do you do this treatment? Okay. Let's talk about that. Before starting the treatment, always wear the proper protective equipment. Naturally, to do this treatment, you are going to need a pesticide. And I think one of the most effective and least expensive pesticides that you can use is Bifen IT. This product gets mixed one ounce per gallon of water. You can apply it with a pump up garden sprayer, but it is way faster to use a battery operated tank sprayer. Now, any tank sprayer is going to work, but the more pressure it puts out, the faster it's going to do the job and the higher it will reach. Now there is a very good selection of them on Amazon, but keep in mind that you get what you pay for. So just mix the pesticide in the sprayer and spray around windows, doors, garage doors, pipe penetrations, around the electric meter and other boxes on the house, fascia boards, soffits, ornamental plants, up the side of the house about 36 inches, and from the house out on the ground about 36 inches as well. Soak the area really well where the house meets the ground because a lot of bugs like to hang out there. You should also consider treating the inside and outside of trash cans as well. That sounds easy enough. How often should you do this treatment? Great question. How often you do the treatment is going to depend on the pest activity. The Bifen IT can last up to 90 days, but you may need to treat more often than that. Simply apply it whenever you start to see the insect activity, or at least every 90 days. I find that personally, I usually need to treat it about every 60 days. All right. 
What if I have some areas on my home that are very high up and cannot be reached with a tank sprayer? Okay. Now you are asking me to share some inside information. Look, you are not supposed to do this. But if you have no choice, then you can treat those areas with a hose and sprayer. This will probably exceed label recommendations for the amount of pesticide that you are supposed to apply. But it is a quick and easy way to reach those high places. The sprayer that I like to use has a stream setting that is going to allow you to reach heights as much as 25 feet depending upon water pressure. Now, you cannot do this with Bifen IT because the viscosity of the liquid is too thick to be picked up by the siphon tube in the sprayer. So you need to use Bifen XTS. The Bifen XTS may seem expensive, but keep in mind that it only gets mixed one third of an ounce per gallon of water instead of the one ounce per gallon of water for the Bifen IT. So it goes three times as far. Just measure out two ounces of Bifen XTS in a measuring cup and pour it into the sprayer. Then add 28 ounces of water and this will give you a ratio of one part pesticide to 14 parts of water. Set the sprayer to five ounces per gallon and you will be applying the pesticide at a rate of one third ounce per gallon of water. I'm sorry, but in the interest of time, I am not going to go over all that math with you. You just need to trust me that this is correct. Okay, I trust you in everything, but if you are not supposed to do it, will that create any problems that I ought to know about? Not really. It will not harm you or the environment. Just make sure that you wear all the proper protective equipment that I previously mentioned. Now, if you really want to go nuclear on these guys, then it is also a good idea to treat your yard as well. And this can also be done with that same hose and sprayer. And I just happen to have a video on how to do that. And I will place a link in the description and at the end of this video. Be well, my friends. And thank you so much for watching.